Judy James, Jimmy I. Inandino has always been known as a devoted outfit member and lately one of the top leaders of the Chicago mob. Tonight, what has been unknown to most, Inandino is listed in FBI records obtained by the I team as informant number 6931-C. Back in the late 60s and 70s, had that information been common knowledge, perhaps Inandino wouldn't have made it to age 80 and died a natural death a few days ago. Jimmy Inandino here on the right rose through outfit ranks to run the powerful Cicero Street Crew, according to mobologists. At this hour, his wake underway, the hoodlum having died last Thursday at age 80. But this FBI record obtained tonight by the I-Team may come as a surprise to some mourners of Jimmy the I Inandino that some suspect was I for ice pick. Inandino was an informant for the Chicago FBI under symbol number 6931C from 1965 to 69 and again in the mid-70s, furnishing FBI information about truck cargo thefts that authorities say was his specialty back in the day. And I doubt that the outfit knew that he was an informant for the FBI for two uh, clear periods of time. And I think what you have is a clear and incontrovertible proof that he was, in fact, an informant. There it is in an FBI memo. Outfit expert and author John Binder tonight says Inandino, as an informant, raises many questions for his mob associates. Did he really cooperate big time, give them this much, or did he give them this much? Binder says Inandino was eventually a made blood oath member of the mob, lately reporting only to this man, Salvatore Sali D. De Laurentiis, considered by law enforcement to be the outfit's current leader and who apparently signed Inandino's funeral book. Thank you so much for what you did for my boys. I'm having three trees planted in memory of you. Tonight's lingering question, how long did Inandino cooperate? If he was cooperating later when he was a full member and really knew stuff, uh, that could cause quite a bit of concern. When FBI informant 6931C is laid to rest tomorrow at Queen of Heaven Cemetery, the personal story of his government cooperation will rest in peace with him. Tonight, we have not heard back from the most recent attorneys who represented in Indino and the former federal prosecutor on Chicago's last major mob case, Family Secrets, has declined to comment. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.